haunting thing I have ever had, uh, we've ever d had uh, on the Young Turks. 14 years we, uh, we've we been on the air and we saw, we thought John Kerry was going to win in 2004. Uh, this is, this is Trump. We are fucking talking about a madman, incompetent buffoon being the most powerful man on earth. He now has a better than 50% chance. I can't even believe how this is going so far and this is why I don't obsess about the polls. Yes, they're relevant. Yes, they're interesting to you guys. Um, but I never look at the polls and think, oh, you know what? I'm, Hillary has a comfortable lead according to, an, you know, all of these polls put together and analyzed together. It doesn't mean anything, okay? It's, it means something. It means something. <laughs> By the way, as we were talking, 54% chance that Donald Trump wins. They moved while we were talking. It just moved again. Fifty-five percent chance Donald Trump is going to win right now. Stop saying the number. Sixty-one percent chance of winning this for Donald Trump. This is insane. This is okay. insane. So um, uh, I've got a lot more ramifications. Oh wow! For the Trump presidency, uh, brace for impact. New York Times now saying the chance of a Trump presidency is ninety-two percent. Brace for impact. Okay. Uh, Huffington Post, what happened to your fucking 98.4 percent? What happened to your, they said there was a 98.4 percent. And I keep picking on them, well, that they were not alone. Well, that chance. They were not alone. All the fucking idiots in Washington and New York. Oh, <laughs> you guys are worried about nothing. You're worried about nothing. And now, uh, this will be true rebel headquarters as Trump and his cronies begin their march against our freedoms. Look, we might literally be targeted. So. Remember uh, Alex Jones and Roger Stone bust onto our set uh, in in the RNC, and there were no consequences. They walked around. They didn't get arrested. They didn't get escorted out of the building, and they laughed about it. And so now those guys will be in charge in a lot of ways on a national level. Talk about how historically pathetic the Democratic Party is. That they let this guy, who has never had any success in business. He's had a track record of monumental failure. And they let him win the presidency and become the most powerful. The, the um, Democratic Party is gone. But I'm at war with the Democratic Party. This corporatist, weak, spineless, pathetic party that lets the imbeciles uh, on the Republican side walk all over this country, that handed power to a, a, a raging, not just bigot, but an incompetent. And I'm done with the losers. And I'm done with those donors. I don't give a fuck what the donors want, okay? So the De DNC, you think we're coming for you? You're goddamn right we're coming for you. We're going to pulverize the DNC. We're going to rip it to shreds. Yes, we are at war now. So even if some by some miracle here as we're past 11 o'clock Eastern in our live coverage, by some miracle Hillary Clinton wins, I don't care. We're still at war. We're still at war because you are this close to handing Trump ultimate power on this planet. Are you insane, you pathetic losers? <clears throat> New York Times now has it at 95% chance that Donald Trump is going to be president. At 11, 538 still had it at 50-50, it's now 37%. North Carolina has been called, it is, goes to Donald Trump, uh, and Wisconsin and Michigan still leaning red. Brought to you by the fucking morons at the Democratic Party. I don't know what CNN is doing, but I bet if you turn into their live coverage now, they're all very hushed tones. Uh, okay, now reporting for Wisconsin is still uh, going to Donald Trump. Nobody's saying, hey, we're going to war. Nobody's saying, hey, oh my God, this is a monumental, grotesque failure of the Democratic Party that every single person at the DNC should be fired because they're not that animated. They don't care. Oh, I'm a news actor. What does it say in the prompter? Let me read the goddamn prompter. I'm a, I get paid for this. Am I still getting 10 million a year? Great. Let me read the goddamn prompter. So TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. Okay. So okay, hang on to your 68-year-old audience. Okay. But the younger people have no interest in Wolf Blitzer reading anything to them. No interest at all. So keep on reading your stupid-ass script. We're gonna murder you. Okay, we're going to end you, we're going to finish you. She can still win, yes, it's only a 5% chance now. But she can still win, but in order to do so, she has to win Wisconsin and Michigan, which pre we previously thought was not an issue, but it most certainly is an issue now. Um, the big winner tonight, 
seems to be marijuana though. And that's a good thing because we need gonna something. Need it. The play yep. is, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm gonna do as soon as I get home tonight. Look, you know what's still possible? My exact prediction. She wins Virginia, oh, Pennsylvania, shit. Colorado, and she pulls out New Hampshire uh, and 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 gets Wisconsin and Michigan, in which case that would be the exact 272 oh. that I predicted ahead of time. Fox yeah. has called Wisconsin for Trump. Really? Well, yeah. that's that. If, if that's Fox is right, Shore. first of all, this I'm not going for, okay? We, we're going to rebuild the Democratic Party to a point where they're going to be afraid of us. But there's still tens of millions of Americans who wanted nothing more than a guy who wasn't just endorsed by the KKK, but fucking earned that endorsement. He worked for that endorsement. And the sexism is so deep. The sexism is worse than the racism because you see black men being exterminated on the streets and you still let a black man in the White House. A lot of people are gonna get their asses whooped behind this. They think that they think these are the people of color from the 50s. You can't roll up on us like you used to roll up on us before. So the one thing I think Hillary Clinton had right in this election was her comment about the basket of deplorables. Of course, the one thing the press uh, heaped all sorts of criticism on, like how dare she. College uh, white men, uh, so even college white men, and this to me, 